hi everyone <laughs> so i'm just going to pray to start heavenly father i just give you glory I give you praise i give you honor for there is no one like you lord you are in a class by yourself and so jesus i just give you every worship for you are the alpha and the omega you are great you are god above all and i just adore you father i pray that each and every person that comes on to this video will experience jesus in jesus's precious name i pray amen so hi everyone i just wanted to share my heart with you today and really what's on my heart is jesus <laughs> and how he saved me so i just wanted to share my testimony a little bit about you know what 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 happened with me and how god delivered me when i fought, fell in my christian walk so i just first want to you know say that you know i'm going to just be honest you know because at the end of the day my life is not about me and my story is not about me right so I've grown up in church my, my whole life. Like, you know, that's my life, basically. It has been my life. Well, as long as I can remember, you know, um, my grandfather, he's a pastor. And so many times, you know, I would go to church. When I went down there, he would always tell us about, about Jesus. Now, I've always been going to church because my mom has always been saved most of her life as well. But... I mean, my grandfather is really the one that I believe introduced me to Christ because I would always go over his house every month when I was younger and we had constant conversations about Jesus Christ. I mean, we'd have early morning devotion and we would always be talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So eventually I decided that, hey, I want to give my life to the Lord because this is just a vibe right now. <laughs> And it was just so beautiful to see his love for God. And I wanted to be a part of that. So I said, I'm going to give my life. So at the tender age of 11, I gave my life at my church, my old church, which was PHCC. I'm not going to a new church, Wafif. But before I was going to Worship and Faith International Fellowship. But at the time, I was going to that church. And I mean, I really was just after God. I really wanted the will of God. I was so in love. I, I I just would get up early in the morning and just be with the Lord because that was just my favorite time. And throughout my whole high school experience, I was out there preaching the gospel, just telling my classmates and everyone around me about Jesus. A lot of the whole child students can testify to that. If them watch this, they'll be like, yeah, that's so right. You know, and so that was that was that was everything that was my life and you know you know as i got older you know when i was about let's say 17 because my whole high school experience i lived pure i wasn't trying to sin against god i wasn't trying to go against what he wanted i really just wanted the will of god in my life right and so there were moments when i fell when I started to, to do the things that I wasn't supposed to do, go to events, parties, whatever you want to call them, that I wasn't, where the environment was so contaminated. Um, I started to drink around that age. I started to just do all sorts of things that were just not of God. You know, I started to get into relationships that were just not pleasing unto the Lord. Like, I know me and that boy enough for even a talk, but I'm still talking to them. I'm still doing things that I'm not supposed to do. Uh, this was about when I was 17, 18. And, like, I'm 19 now. Gonna be 20. But I was just living wrong. And my heart was wrong before the Lord. And I remember New Year's of when I was eight, when I just turned 18, basically the lord gave me a dream in which i saw that the world was ending and in that dream is like i basically wasn't ready and i was saying god how can the world be ending knowing i'm basically still in sin <laughs> like the lord that wait for me <laughs> but you know sir i didn't want him to come and so i was still you know doing wrong 
you know I, it got to the point where because you see one sin leads to another so i may have started out just doing small little things but then it came to the point where i just started to struggle with i started to watch porn and i started to get addicted and i started to do all sorts of things that i wasn't supposed to do and it was just so hard you know because when i started to watch porn i started to masturbate and all of those different things and it's like it spirit started to attach themselves to me so it's like i started to become in bondage you know and i started to get into relationships that were just not pleasing unto the lord and this you know led me to start get, getting sad like i started to get really really sad because i knew it was wrong but i kept on doing it and it's like i felt like i couldn't stop i felt like it wouldn't stop and then jesus came in and changed everything i thought i was beyond redemption because i knew the right thing but i chose to do wrong but then the lord reached out to me he he gave me that dream and he started to reach out to me and then i started to just make a decision that i didn't want to live this way anymore because you see god can be reaching out to us but it's also our decision and when i made that decision no he started to free me i started to get dreams in which like i was literally being delivered in my dream nobody laid their hands on me and touched me but i just went and i sought the lord and i said lord i want to change i want you to to make me better and he started to deliver me he started things i started to literally dream myself pulling things out of myself and stuff like that and i no longer struggle with anything i just spoke about obviously I, deliverance is a continuous thing so i have to constantly stay in the presence of the lord but i'm no longer struggling because jesus christ saved me i want you guys to know that in all of this that i've spoken about i was in the church at the time but you can be in the church and not know jesus you can be serving in ministry and not know jesus you can think that you're doing the things of for the lord for the lord for the lord and you're really not doing it for him because you can't put the things of god before god you can't love the the gifts more than the giver of the gifts which is him you know and so jesus says in romans 10 verse 9 to 10 that if you confess with your mouth jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved i want everyone who's watching this video to know that jesus is in love with you hallelujah jesus loves you with an everlasting love and he wants he wants you to accept him he wants to free you from the pain you're going through he wants to free you from the depression he wants to free you from the suicidal thoughts he wants you to experience his immense love for you and he loves you so much his love for you is unconditional and so guys whoever is watching this all you have to do is say lord jesus i want you to come into my heart and make me a new person i want you to change me lord i want you to make me different whatever you have to do if it's even to cry out to him and ask him to help you he will just pray go before him say lord I don't want to live this way anymore i want to receive you into my heart i want freedom i want freedom i don't want to live like this and once you say that in your heart once you say to him he will save you once you ask him to forgive you and come into your heart make you new he will do it. You're not alone in struggle. You're not alone in pain. He understands the struggle and the pain because when he was here on earth, before he died for you, he experienced that pain. He carried that burden. So he knows what you're going through. He is close to you and he wants more from you. Receive Jesus in your heart today. Inbox me comment whatever you need to do but reach out and he will definitely touch you
थैंक यू गाइस